So once you've got it all set up, go ahead and tie you in a knot. First, pinch it to your main line, wrap the main line with the tag. Loop it over your main housing. Really not tight. I generally try to put it in the middle. And the secret to all of this and what will uh, keep you from backlash and from your line slipping. Take a piece of tape. Now, most of the time I'm using duct tape anymore. Um, it's going to hold no matter what I do to it. And you just put it on there over the braid. Once that's on, you can close your bell. and wind your go ahead and spin it and just let it feed and wind and let it fill the whole reel up and you'll want to leave you know that eighth inch gap on the top um, in this case I don't probably don't have enough line to even come close to filling it um, because I'm using the uh, end of 100 and I want to say 110 150 reel, or yard reel you know, all you gotta do though is just sit here and spin this and it's gonna fill that up for you. And the nice thing about this, you know, portable line spooling station is it's nice. It uh, holds everything and does a great job of working everything for you. And unlike any, a lot of the other methods out there, you don't have to sit there and worry about your spool flopping around or coming loose on you. Um, which is why I upgraded to this system. I'm going to close the canvas there. Well, I got sloppy. I didn't get it tightened down quite to the point that it should have been. But even with that, you can just reach down and hold on to it. that. So all in all guys, making this investment was well worth it, um, especially since I like to convert, switch over to braid um, on most of my reels, even if I buy them and they're already pre-set up um, with other line on them. Um, I'll take the mono off and I'll put braid on most of my reels. Um, you know, about the only thing that I run, do run mono on is, is stuff that I'm setting up with a slip bobber um, or you know, I'm using a weighting system that's going to use a slide on it. And then uh, that's a pretty much all that I use. So I hope this helped guys. And hope that uh, you know, if you do change swap out quite a bit, that your line, um, that you go ahead and, and make a purchase of this. It's a great product.